Hello there, I'm Tiger Snark and this is Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access, where Snark Aerospace Exploration and Science Agency will be attempting to break the land speed record of 341 meters a second. But that has nothing to do with aerospace, I hear you say. Well, aero is all around us, you see, and air friction is going to be one of our main challenges to overcome. That's why we're adding these stabilizers here as fairings for our wheels. And these stabilizer fairings are going to be angled downwards. This will hopefully help the air friction be pushed down and then help us put all the thrust from our engines into the wheels, which will then move us forward. The engines we're going to be using is a single dart engine and two spark engines on either side. We are now on the runway for our first test. Three, two, one, launch. Oh. Well, seems like we messed up the staging for the engines. But we'll sort that out next time. This is just the first initial test. Things seem to be going well. At least we're moving forward. Oh, developing a bit of a speed wobble there. It's gonna have to be sorted out in our next revision. But we're still not spinning out. Don't know if that's just because we've got too much thrust going forward or not, but uh, about that too much thrust, we're not stopping. Oh no. Oh no! Well, it's now a rocket, and it's crashed. Okay, so we also need to figure out how to stop. Probably should have been one of the first things we did before going out onto the launch pad, but I think what we'll do is we will add some parachutes and then also maybe add air intake on the top, both because it looks cool and also hopefully it will help stabilize us a little bit. We are going to sort these engines out and launch. Holy crap, look at those wheels lift off the ground. There is so much thrust being produced here. Oh, there's the speed wobble again. Over 200 meters a second, but that's nowhere near fast enough. We are losing far too much speed to the speed wobble. So what we're going to be doing is... Oh, and also we need to be stopping now. So I think we'll pop the parachutes. And, oh, it seems like we've got a bit of an issue with the engine still going. So we'll deactivate that engine. And then we'll have a bit of a fiddle to try and get to click this other spark engine here and disable that one. But nope, we have to disable them both separately, so we finally get both of them disabled. And then it's back to the VAB to make some changes. The changes we're going to be making is we're going to be reducing the amount of fuel we have and we're also going to be locking the steering of the rear wheels. Hopefully that will help our stability just a little bit. Ready for another test? Slight weight loss from less fuel helps us get to a higher speed quicker. But we've still got that annoying speed wall. Four meters a second. No, no. Oh. 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 oh, stop, 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 stop. And we just barely made that, but we didn't hit the water, so I think that was a successful stop. Our parachutes saved us there. And back in the VAB once more, we'll be shortening our vehicle, and this will hopefully help with our stability, but also give us even less weight. I tried to make some adjustments to the stabilizer as well. Hopefully that will help with the speed wobble. Back on the runway once more, we'll start rolling forward to try and get as straight as possible and launch. Well, didn't get rid of the speed wobble, but it seems to be slightly more controllable. I 
think we might need to put just a little bit more fuel into the tanks as well. But things are going well. We are able to keep the vehicle under control while gain good speed. It's just unfortunate about that speed bubble, but it stays under control and we can come to a safe stop. We'll get up to a slow rolling start here again just to make sure we have a nice straight run. Ignite the engines and go. Try and use the SAS to keep stable here. Oh, we still have that issue, but we're going super fast now. Speed continues to climb. Getting faster, boss, and are we going to make it? Are we going to break 300 meters a second? No, unfortunately, not this time at least, but. We come to a nice controlled stop. I think in order to fix the control issue with our speed wobble, we're going to be switching out these stabilizers for control surfaces. The control surfaces will give us greater control, living up to their name and hopefully removing this pesky speed wobble, allowing us to transfer all of our forward momentum from our powerful engines into the wheels and forward. These stabilizers seem like they are going a little bit too much, they're kind of clipping through the wheels there, but I still feel like we should test them out, see what they do with the most control they have. Coming and resetting to the end of the runway here as I apply the controls, the stabilizers look a little bit cute, it gives the car some character, they look like little ears flapping about, what do you think? Now that we're reset, let's just give it a go. Wow, that is quite an improvement there. Oh, okay, now we still have a bit of stability issue there, but it's way more stable this time. I'm able to keep it under control, but uh, don't really manage to do that well as I go off of the runway and then kind of have to pull the parachutes. But we ran out of fuel and we will definitely be able to save the stop. And so I quickly head back to the VAB, make the final adjustments so that we can get to breaking this record. The main adjustment being that I'm going to be switching out this dart engine for a vector engine. This one's a lot more powerful and will definitely be able to help us break this land speed record. As I'm busy resetting to the end of the runway, I'm adjusting the authority limiters just so that we don't overcompensate while trying to keep this thing stable. Whoa! Look at that car, we've just broken the land speed record and we're still going. It's so stable as well. No speed bubble here, perfectly stable. We've broken 400 meters a second. Wow, look at that. Okay, we went off the runway a little bit there, but that's fine. We just deploy the parachutes and come to a stop. And there we go. I'm feeling really good about this. We've broken the land speed record, but I think we can do even better for the final adjustments to make this thing really go. I'll also lock in the authority limiter, and I did the same to the engine gimbal. And then we'll head back to the runway for our last attempt at. Alright, this is a 3, 2, 1 launch. Wow, look at that speed go. meters a second. Oh, we've got just a little bit of speed bubble, but it's still so steady. 438 meters a second. We've beaten it by nearly over a hundred meters a second. And look at us as we come to a nice controlled stop at the end of the runway of parachutes. And there we have it. We've done it. We've broken the land speed record, and not only broken it, but we've decimated it. Well done, Bill Kerman. You did well. Great driving of Bill Kerman. I think 
we need to have a better send-off. I think we need to see it in the glory of daylight. So we reset for a final time just to bask in the glory of this wonderful vehicle. Because look at this thing. Look how cool that looks. And I think we'll end the episode there. If you've enjoyed the episode, leave a like and subscribe for more Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. I'll see you next time.